Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, Team USA. These four students will be representing our country at the International Biology Olympiad in Coventry, United Kingdom from July 23rd through the 30th of July. And I know they will have all of your support. The first team member is Edward Lee. Um, my name is Edward Lee. I'm from Austin, Texas, uh, from the Liberal Arts and Science Academy. You've been selected for Team USA. How do you feel? Uh, still kind of in disbelief. Like, after I walked out of the exams, it, I was like, I'm done for. Who's a mentor or idol to you? Um, Thomas Chung. So he's kind of a legend in Texas, and, um, in Science Olympiad as well, because he's like, uh, he broke some records okay. in like how much you win at nationals. And so like everyone, all the biology people in our school just kind of look up to him. So he's my idol basically. Okay, so I like to play Tetris. And actually Tetris is the reason why I, I did USABO. Oh, because really? I realized I was spending too much time on it. <laughs> so I was like, what am I doing with my life? Let me go do something productive. And so I joined USABO. Cool. Second member of the team, Catherine Wang. <laughs> My name is Katherine Wong. Um, I'm from Lexington, Massachusetts, and I go to Lexington High School. I'm excited okay. and slightly awed to be on Team USA for my final year of eligibility. I've seen USABO change a lot of lives, including mine, and to represent a program whose mission I admire so much is an incredible honor. It's hard to quantify how much I've learned here, but USABO has really deepened my understanding of biology, and most importantly, introduced me to some of my closest friends. IBO comes with a lot of pressure, but I can't wait to meet the resident biology enthusiasts of countries all over the world. Third member of the team, Alexander Zhao. Uh, I'm Alexander Zhao, I'm from Diamond Bar in Southern California, and I go to Troy High School. I'm still a little in shock, I didn't expect to uh, do this well actually. Um, but now, now that I'm in Team USA, I guess I, I'm really excited for, for IBO. I'm excited to go meet all the international competitors that are going to be going there. Uh, I, I really like the UK. It's, it's a lot more green than my Southern California home. So I do have a scientist I look up to, and that's uh, Richard Feynman. He was a really great speaker and um, communicator, and I think he's a great model for for anyone who wants to um, communicate to the science community in simple terms. And Thomas Zahn. Thomas My name is Thomas Chung. I'm from Seven Lakes High School back in Katy, Texas. I'm super excited to go to IBO, meet a bunch of cool people, take a bunch of fun tests, all these kinds of things. So I'm really just looking forward to my next couple weeks and months uh, leading up to IBO for sure. Don't think it's too hard, but also don't think it's too easy. It's really important to have this sense of confidence in yourself that maybe you don't know the information right now, this, maybe you don't have the skills, but you can definitely get them by the time you're there and even while you're there. It's a lot of self-confidence and a lot of the, the patience and persistence to be able to manipulate yourself well in these tests. Uh, more than that though, I think the best thing to do with IBO is to just uh, going along with the confidence thing, just believe in yourself and your teammates, you know. You've already been through so much biology training and so you definitely have the skills to pull off what you need on these tests.